wave deflector. It's got uh, this notch here and a notch here. So I put it in like this, I rotate it, it goes in there. Uh, and I push it. Okay, looks like I gotta take this off. All right, so this goes in here. This is held with this uh, this rabbit joint. Uh, this is held with a clevis point uh, pin. Okay, there's the wave deflector. Uh, I went back to the uh, wooden side braces because uh, the aluminum ones were uh, bent. I forgot my seat, so I don't have any place to sit. I'm just going to have to sit here and paddle there or kneel uh, in the front half. Um, Shoving off. Ooh. Okay, this is an area of the river that I don't really know very well. Beautiful out here. All right. Well, this uh, this wave guard makes it look like a one of those swamp boats. Um, I think I'm going to include this in the plans without charging for it, since uh, it basically makes the design much more functional. And so, I think if anybody's already bought plans, I think there's like five people that bought plans. Uh, just send me an email and I'll email it to you. All right, here's the second set of rapids. I think there's four. Um, if, if I was counting correctly last time. Um, last time I was on the uh, the right side of the river, and that was pretty much. Uh, pretty dangerous so I'm going to stay on this side this, I really like being able to stand up and see uh, ahead of me I can always sit down if, if I go over something dangerous all right I think This one's not that bad. This is looking familiar. I was here about five or six weeks ago on my camping trip. And it was quite terrifying because the, the front of the boat filled with water. Um, the water level was two feet higher than it is today. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think there's more exposed rocks, but maybe the uh, maybe the current is a little slower. My chair is one and a half inches wide today. Not as comfortable. So, what is the advantage of a uh, rectangular boat? Um, it, it acts more like a flat plate. So uh, a flat plate does not turn as fast as a, a canoe shape. 
because it doesn't generate as much lift on the side so it goes in a straight line so it's harder to turn but it doesn't turn when you don't want it to uh, that's at least the, my theory the other thing is if you hit a rock with a square bow it doesn't tip you instantaneously if I was in a canoe and I, I rammed up on a rock um, and it elevated, now you have no stability at all. You have your bow and your stern, and that's it. The, the middle of the boat is elevated and it tips over. So that's what I like about a rectangle. That doesn't happen if I jam up on a rock, which has happened you know, at least four times. Usually happens maybe once every other time I go out. Gosh, what a party. I have a force field today with this uh, wave deflector. Oh boy, there's a rock there. in action <laughs> yeah easy yay 30 minutes of bailing this time. Oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the sound because I survived. I'm so glad I made this uh, wave guard thingy. Okay, well that was a good test. 
I think uh, I think you have to do a test that's a little bit pushing it to the limit, otherwise it's not a real test. Swamp boat. Ooh, bugs. Alright, um, I'm going to stop and bail. There's a little bit of water in here, not much. I got a bailing bucket this time. Alright, I bailed. Back in action. Alright, uh, the rest of the trip is probably going to be boring unless there's some wildlife to look at. This is how fast I can go. <laughs> yeah, so a rectangle doesn't turn as fast as a curved edge which is nice, so then I can just paddle three times on each side without going in a circle. Um, we have two stand-up paddle boards and they, they go all... You have to keep switching sides constantly, otherwise you're turning into the woods. Alright, while we're enjoying this beautiful scenery, I had another idea. So this boat is not big enough to hold two people and two bikes. It will hold two people, barely. Um, so I actually thought of, uh, you know, the Russian nesting dolls. I could make another smaller punt that, that goes inside of this punt. And then um, one bike, uh, one the bigger punt can hold one person and two bikes. And then the smaller punt will just hold one person, and then two people can go. And there's only one trailer, um, two bikes, two people in one trailer, uh, but two boats, one inside the other. Yeah, I definitely need a punt pole. I keep forgetting. Well, the dogs are having all the fun. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a bike trailer that turns into a boat. That's pretty awesome. And uh, it fits me and my bike. And I just uh, built this wave guard because there's rapids up there, uh -huh. and it worked great. And I'm so happy because last time the, the the whole front filled with water, and it it I had to keep stop stop uh, every 15 minutes and bail it out but yeah it worked great this time not much water in there that's pretty awesome are you gonna pack and sell it um maybe yeah pretty cool thanks mm -hmm. and it's got wheels 